picking up a pattern with this running shoe battle. These, these are, these, this is the battle, I'll just say, of the kings of the trails. Onward and upward. Cheers, everybody. Enjoying a little Waterloo into Shootio and Speedgo 5, Endorphin Edge. Great day. Here we go. Running shoe battles in full, full on mode here in the uh, here on the channel. I know it's not ideal, okay? Timing is never perfect for an injury, but I gotta say, I always think long term. I, I, I think in frankly in decades, and I'm kind of excited. What's happening? in these running shoe battles with respect to the editing, the filming, the scoring system, and basically once I am back to running, firing up, you know, I don't own it yet, but the Alpha Fly 2, for example, the Alpha Fly 2 versus the Endorphin Pro 3. Um, basically, the evolution of the channel, this injury is allowing me to evolve in other areas like these running shoe battles. I probably would not be publishing as many as that I am, and thanks for your patience as we work through this injury together. Um, on the home page, I put I decided to put a new playlist right on the home page. So click over, there it is. Okay, scroll down just a little bit, and then boom, there's the new playlist for the running shoe battles. And I realized there's so much diverse content that we could be creating here within DGR, and it's fun for me as a creator to pivot a little bit from just straight up running shoe reviews to these battles, like the Hoka Speed Goat 5, let's pull it off the shelf, versus the Saucony Endorphin Edge. Are we looking at the two, uh, the two best ro trail running shoes of 2022? We very well may be. All right, everyone, anyway, just wanted to mention that at the beginning. It's kind of fun, it's not ideal, all right? I'd much rather be running 14ers right now, but it's nice to pivot and create a new genre of content for all of you on the channel there's the drop all right soak it in for both of these shoes i'm just going to put the weights on the screen as well okay so endorphin edge is the winner winner chicken dinner for the weight uh by about uh, about a half an ounce a little over a half an ounce all right durable nylon mesh for the edge double layer jacquard mesh for the speed go five very close for the lockdown sorry chad um anyway chad there's chad i think you're going to be watching this there's the actual scores we chad and i were talking over on discord anyway so chad there you go i remember chad uh but chad the reason that the overall winner for the upper is the Speed Go 5 is that heel counter and heel tab. All right, there you have it. I don't know if Hoka and Saucony are talking to each other. Look at those very, very reminiscent heel counters and heel tabs. I'm still going Noosa Tri 14 for the best hug on that Achilles tendon in 2022. Moving on to the midsole. Oh my, my. Saucony pushing the ball down the court with Power Run PB plus a carbon fiber plate in that midsole plus a rock plate. All right, so they went all out in this midsole. Ride and energy returns though, very similar. And the Speed Goat 5 does not have a plate in there. That's the, that's the amazing thing about the compression molded EVA over here in the Speed Goat 5, which did get a little bit lighter from the Speed Go 4. So if you were a fan of the 4, which I don't know if it's around here right now, it uh, you're really going to love. And, and many of you have already bought this shoe, have taken it past 500, 600. I get the photos. Yes, send them to me, info at DeboerGlobalRunning.com. And yes, I'll just give a shout out to the website right now. It's starting to progress, okay? It took a little lull. It's, it just takes time to develop a website, a lot of time. So send your photos and there's a chance your photos of the midsole, outsole, upper could end up on the website. All right, sound good? So there you go, overall score for the um, ride and energy return and then the overall score for the midsole is going endorphin 
edge. And let's, you know, actually, well, I actually just did this a second ago, but I'll do it again. Here we go. Uh, getting like 38, 39. Okay. And again, this midsole, you know, it's a little older now. Actually, that side's saying 48. Let me just find, that's the thing with the Speedgo 5. There's not a very flat surface. Okay. 44, but then endorphin edge, 36. So it is softer in the endorphin edge, which I appreciate so if you want a little softer ride i'd consider but keep in mind there's a carbon fiber plate in there and let's do this Oof! wow yeah it's kind of stiff kind of stiff you know hold on yeah kind of stiff as well anyway it's actually you know seven months old now so just sitting around midsoles do age a little bit outsole we're looking at power track rubber all right tie across the screen all right similar um yeah similar outsole patterns man Goodness, I don't know if I could only choose. I did put ties, you know, when I scored them. Hmm, I might lean Speed Goat 5 for a little better bite into the mountain, but there you have it. I gave eights across the board. Fit, there you go, Speed Goat 5 all day long. Better fit for me. Um, okay, a little more room in the toe box and the endorphin edge. I prefer a little narrow, narrower fit in the toe box, especially for climbing up mountains. So that's why I went speed go five. There you have it. Comfort score, eight and a half versus eight. Very close. Very, so you can see picking up a pattern with this running shoe battle. These, these are, these, this is the battle. I'll just say of the kings of the trails of 2020. To thus far, durability predictions. Again, similar. Actually, I think I gave a tie for the scores. Um, I'm just look, I'm just analyzing, man. Hmm. And if you are reporting any issues with the outsole of either of these shoes, please do, because I, I think I have seen some pictures of Speedgoat 5 lugs tearing off, okay? Uh, I'm, I'd probably go Endorphin Edge if I could only pick one. I did score them the same, but if I could only pick one, I'd probably go a little more for durability, leaning toward the edge. Just a little bit, not too, too much, all right? Moving on to how will I use this shoe? Oh, okay. Training and racing. Uh, if I only wanted to buy one, I'd probably go Speedgo 5. And then if I just wanted to buy a racer, I'd probably go Endorphin Edge. All right. And I would go Endorphin Edge like marathon and 50K and 50 milers on the trails. I wouldn't go below marathon. I'd go a much leaner midsole because, you know, that's the only thing about this midsole, and you saw the stack heights, is rolling an ankle out there on the trails. So you obviously don't want to be doing that. Now, price point, of course, you know, I don't, it's okay. It's okay. You know, 200 is a lot for any trail shoe, but I get it. They put a lot of work into that midsole, a lot of technology. I just say pushing the ball in the trail department in a big way. Remember the Saucony Endorphin, um, was it just the Saucony Endorphin Speed? No, what was it? The trail shoe last year, it was checkered, but it was really not good. It was a. It was not a good shoe. Saucony Endorphin, oh, I forget the name. Anyway, if, I, if we can find it in the archive, we'll put it on the screen right now. Uh, but, so, so I think Saucony probably was like, eh, that was not a good attempt at their first really, and I think it was just the Endorphin Speed Trail. And this guy is a huge step forward, okay? So I would I would buy both again, but obviously Speedgo 5, there's the price point, is the winner, winner, chicken dinner by a long shot for the price point, all right? So if you wanna, you know, watch your money a little bit in this crazy times in the world, I would go Speedgo 5 all day long. So there are the final score. And oh yeah, the full reviews for both of these shoes are down below. Uh, seven point, I think it was 7.85 versus 7.8. Amazing. So, so close. Very similar shoes. A keep, again, keeping in mind that the Speedgo 5 doesn't have a plate in there and it still has that fun bounce and energy return through that midsole. I suspect, I mean, I think, I think Hoke is going to stick a plate in the Speedgo lineup sooner rather than later. Uh, just to, I mean, I'm telling you, oh uh, man, I mean, gosh. Just trying to, like, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for my racing on the trails in 2023. I'm not, I'm not going to discount, uh, discredit, I'm not going to put this guy away for too, too long with respect to possibly racing in the shoe in the future. I would buy the shoe, frankly, in a heartbeat 
for racing on the trails. It just, it's fun. It's bouncy, it's exciting. And again, these full reviews are down below in the description, everybody. All right, comment of the day, question of the day. Just do better said, Spigo 4 is my all time favorite shoe. 800 plus miles on the first pair I purchased. I hope to get the fives day one. Great review is always Seth. So Spigo 4, upper right hand corner if you wanna go back and refresh your memory. So did I mention the category winners? Spigo 5, I think took home five, three, and then two ties. Five, three, and then two ties, if I'm counting them up correctly. So again, very close, very close. Final scores, question of the day. What was the last running photo taken on your phone. And if you care to share over on Twitter with me and I'll retweet it out to DGR around the world or, or share it on the Facebook group. And if you haven't found those two ways to connect with other runners around the world, those they are linked down below. There's always a lot linked below down in the description, okay? So go check it out. Again, fun, fun running shoe. I would buy both again in a heartbeat. Training and racing, racing. Training and racing, racing. $200, you know, that's a lot of money. So save it for race day. Maybe you get really, I think you could get two great races out of it, depending on the length of your race. And then, uh, you know, and then maybe, you know, retire the shoe to a training shoe. You know, when you want to pick up the paces a little bit on a long run out there on the trails. Oh, we will toss it, of course, to the running shoe battle playlist. Run, it keeps growing. Right there, right there, right there. Thanks for tuning in, onward and upward. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.